Hi everyone, it's time for another vlog. I'm going in the bath. Let me turn off the bath. I'm going out to have something to eat. But I want to share my outfit. I'm speaking quiet because I like talking quiet. So <laughs> It's now time for another Diva Glitz Lifestyle Vlog. So join in with the fun. I just had a lovely bath. The room is dark again because um, no light in my house. And I can't have the blinds open because people will be able to see me. So anyway, basically what I wanted to show you was this. I'm going to turn on this light actually because... Might bring in more light, that's a bit better. I brought this conditioner. It's the same as my um, curl activator cream that I put in my hair. This curl activator cream is brilliant. I washed my hair last night, night, last week in my last vlog because my hair had um, flakes in it. I have got dry scalp, so I've got to try and find something that's going to eliminate my dry scalp somehow. Don't know how that's going to happen. So I had to wash my hair again this week because it really started flaking a lot. So I found this conditioner that is a family to this brand, which I'm loving this. So I had to get it and it's a leave-in, leave-in conditioner. I'm going to apply this to my hair now and then it's called QRS Curl Unleashed. Sheen butter and mango, which is nice. Sheen butter and mango, that's a beautiful combination. Moisturising leave-in conditioner. Hair softener and protection. So let me put that in my hair now. Because it needs that added protection for it to grow. It's this colour, it's a beautiful colour, look. And it smells really nice. Imagine mango and sheen but that is so nice so check out this brand it truly works it's a really good one it does the job and it's only i think that condition oh it smells so nice this conditioner costs um seven pound so it's so affordable as well i can't believe it i hope they don't put the prices up because the other brands are like 12 13 and four i think that's too much 13 and 14 pounds and I don't know if I've seen this brand before I didn't really pay mind to it but I'm glad I picked it up because I picked it up because I didn't want to spend I didn't want to spend too much money I'm going to put a little bit more in so uh, I picked it up and I said um, the um, curl activator works so this definitely will work as well and my hair feels really nice so I just wanted to share that with you a leave-in conditioner it's good to have leave-in conditioners in your hair I haven't had a leave-in conditioner left in my hair for a long time because I didn't trust the brands that I was using so I'm glad I found this so I'm basically just going to get dressed now Put my hair up in a high bun for now and then I will do it in a minute. I'll put my curl. What I might do, because I'm going out, no, I'm going out for something to eat and I'm in a rush. I can't actually put myself together properly today because I'm in a rush. I've only got an hour because I'm going out with my brother. So, um, I'm just going to probably put it up in a high ponytail and um, leave it in the conditioner, not put no activator in it. And when I come back, I will do a makeup look and I'll do, I will do my hair and I'll take a photo because I've got a camera, a new phone with um, a better camera. So I'm going to start taking some better pictures for my Instagram and I'm going to take a picture with my new look. So let me get dressed. I'm going to grease myself up. I'm not going to show that with my oils and then I'm going to get dressed and I'll show you the outfit of today and I'm just going to put my eyebrows together and to put a little bit of 
little, just a tiny little bit of makeup because I haven't got much time. This is a quick get ready with me and later on I'll do a makeup look and um, I need to do a facial as well and I've got to put my nails on later as well so I will be getting ready at a slower pace later on so you can join me and I will be showing you what I'm doing and I'm going to be cooking some ackee and saltfish so you can come into the Diva Glitz kitchen to see how I make the ackee and saltfish but that will be for tomorrow's vlog but I will be soaking the ackee tonight but I'll show you the ackee and I'll show you the saltfish and I'll show you how I soak it and then tomorrow you can join me and I've got some peas I'm going to make some no 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 I've got rice and peas in the fridge so I can't make rice and peas again but I'll just be making the ackee and saltfish with callaloo so let me just get ready quickly and then you can see the vlog for the probably might it probably probably be two days again more than likely okay see you so soon now i've got dressed i'm wearing a pair of shorts green shorts with um a half top which is nice so i'm just gonna wear this today i'm gonna do my hair something cool and casual i don't want anything too dressed up today because i'm just going out for a casual meal i'll show you the outfit in the mirror in a minute so this is the look oh i need drop this is the look and um it's okay it's casual i'm used to more dressing up looks but i just feel like dressing like this for today i was going to wear a skirt but i just feel like wearing these shorts so i'm just going to put on a pair of um, trainers now to wear with it and um, just go with this look so I've got these trainers that I'm gonna wear they would go with it so I'm gonna put these trainers on um, I really like these trainers because I like the style of them I got my foot socks on as well so I'm just gonna it's hard to put on because of the laces now I've put the trainers on I'm not 100% sure. I do this all of the time. Do you know what it is? Because I'm so not used to this sort of style. I'm used to a more glamorous style. I'm not used to wearing dressing down clothes. That's why I said I was going to probably, because I had a skirt I wanted to put on, but I've got to find a top for this skirt. It's a green skirt. So I don't know if I'm going to wear the shorts. I don't think they're for me. I think it's too casual. I'm going to show you the skirt that I've got, but I do like it, I think. I've got something going on here. I can get used to it, I suppose. But I've got this skirt, because I'm used to wearing tight clothes as well. These shorts are not tight, they are baggy. But I'm going to leave now, I'm not going to wear this look, because it's not got the same colour as the, um, or I can wear some decycling shorts that I've got, but I'm going to stay with the shorts, I'm going to, I'm going to stay with it, okay. because there's no point, I do this all of the time when I come in here, because, and I've got this coat that I could wear, or, I don't want to wear the green jacket either, I think I'm just going to go with this, because I'm in a rush, this is, uh, I'm in a rush to look unfortunately so let me show you in the mirror basically when it comes to fashion it's all about having confidence in what you're wearing so now I've got used to the look because I've had it on for a little while and I actually like it now so this is the look and it looks nice because I'm not used to this type of look like I said so and the trainers I'm more like into the glam dress up sophisticated look and I'm trying to get used to casual wear more because I'm so used to just dressing up looking like I always say the Kardashian but they don't they dress up in easy wear nowadays and I've got to get used to easy wear because it's much more better when you're just going out for a quick lunch which I'm going out for a quick lunch right now I don't need to glamorize myself up the top is lovely green crop top like it a lot green shorts with Nike can see them like trainers with the pink laces so I'm going to take a picture later 
with it. So I hope you like the look. I like I'm showing with my authentic self, so you'll see in my reaction of my new look, my new image as well. So I actually really really like it now. It takes me time to get used to my image because I have to swap and change styles and, and step outside my box. So I'm stepping outside my fashion box to bring a new style. And this is the style I'm going for today. Oh yeah. So now I'm going to do my eyebrows and my hair and a little bit of makeup. So please join me and I'll show you the look downstairs because it's brighter downstairs. But I think you can see it closely. That's the look. Feeling good. Feeling good, good, good. Make sure you're confident in your pose and strike a pose. You always feel good. Confidence is within. You've got to get that confidence up, girl. Diva Glitz Styly. Now it's time for the eyebrows. So I'm going to do my eyebrows. Sorry about the light in here. I'm not going to put the light on because, like I said, I'm going out quickly. So it's bright enough at the moment. I'm going to try and find my eyebrow brush because I always lose it. Never. I always can't find this eyebrow brush and I can't understand how it's always hidden all of the time. There it is. I found it now. So I'm going to use these two brushes for my eyebrows. And I'm going to go for it. I'm still trying to perfect my eyebrow. Where's my other brush? There's another brush that's missing. I bet it's this one upside down. And this brush as well, spoolie. And I'm going to put that, do my eyebrows, put it up. And um, use this brush. So that's how I start the eyebrows off, I just pull it up, 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 high, make them go high like Spock, remember Spock, Spock had the eyebrows, and now we're taking on the Spock look, yeah, and everyone in the beginning thought it looked strange and now everybody wants that style, and then I take it up some more with the little brush, because I like it high, this one here, I like it high. I love doing makeup, you know, I'm going to do a makeup look later because I do, it makes me feel relaxed. Make it come down. Make it look good. Because I have to use a little brush to get the right definition. Up. And down. And then I do my little bit of con in on my eyes. I need new makeup as well. Let me bring you closer so you can see. Please like and subscribe to Diva Glitz channel. It needs to support, you know, because it's growing. It's not growing. It's growing. I'm going to say it's growing because I've got my goals, but it will grow at the rightful time, I suppose. But, um, Please support me regardless of how many numbers I've got at the moment. Because some people I don't I don't believe in it. People look I suppose I do do it and just look at entertainment. You see, we do see what stands out the most. I must admit I can't deny that. So I'm guilty for it as well. So I've got to stand out more, I suppose, in order to be seen because it's always celebrities that stand out the most because they got the most resources they get the most help i'm just at home mum trying to get through the system to try and support everyone i got people that want my help now and i can't give them the help they need because i'm not being supported either 
So we're praying and hoping that the Diva Glitz channel grows so I can be of help to others. So I'm just going to leave it like that. It looks nice because I have to look in that mirror because I can't see much light in this mirror because I haven't got my lights on. But it looks nice. So I've done my eyebrows. I'm just going to quickly do my hair now. Just quickly. This is truly a, just a very quick look because I've only been given an hour to get ready. So it's my fault for not getting ready earlier. But I'm going to just put my hair up in a bun. Like this. And it feels so nice and soft. Oh, it's lovely. Just need my hair to grow. I can't understand how it's not growing very quickly. Like I've been talking about this. I'm not going to go on about it again because I'll just go off on one big talk about braids because I love braids. Where's my hair band? Didn't I just take my hair band out? And now I can't find it. I just took it out just now. Oh, there it's on the floor. So I'm not going to have it out because... It might not dry the way I want it, so I'm just going to put it up high and then come back and do it properly. I'm so looking forward to when it's longer because this length, I think it makes me look too old. When I get, when it gets longer, like even to here, it, I will look younger. But that this length is not for me. I've never been a bob type fan. So just put it up. I'm going to put some oil in it because my scalp needs some oil. Just a little bit of oil. And I'm going to massage. Massage my scalp massage it because you need to massage I should really massage my head every single day because it's good to massage every day and um, now I'm going to just put my hair up like this That light is in the way. Still in the way. That's one thing about this room. This house well, of the house isn't it? is so much problem areas in this house. So go make it go round like this and around. <gasps> Hairband bro. New hairband, new hairband alert. So dark. What have I got over here? That light just wants to dominate us all, isn't it? Looks even in the mirror. It don't make no sense that it shines so bright like that. Right, so now, gonna put the hair in a bun. So I need another hairband. I so love this top as well. Look, it's shining bright through the mirror as well. Can't get away from it. Let's go over here and see if we can get away from the light. Yes. And put it in a bun. 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 How's that bun look? Let's see. In this mirror, how it looks before I put this one in and around. I love buns as well. So now I'm going to do some edges. Have I got um, a toothbrush? But I've been doing my edges pretty good lately, you know. I'm quite impressed with myself. So I'm going to use this. So, putting it down like this. <coughs> the 
sides try and get as much sides out as I can at this side go down 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 get those edges out reveal those edges just messing right, that's enough now I'll be back when I finish because I need to use the other mirror and now I've done my edges I like the way I do my edges now and my daughter actually taught me how to do them so I do it how she's taught me so look and you've got the, the waves and the coils see so I like it the way this one's waving around that one's waving around it's nice so now I'm just gonna put a bit of powder on my face and that will do it and some lipstick I'm looking fresher than fresh this powder is quite um, brown too, too brown for my skin but what I do is where's the lid gone do I, I've done this a lot oh there it is everything's gone clam camouflage camouflage that's the word and I've got this highlight it's like a highlighter to give my face a shimmer I like to have a shimmer oh but it smells funny a shimmer glow and my face has got darker which I don't mind I quite like the darker effect and then um, this is a highlighter that I'm going to put on it's blended enough I'm not going to do wing eyeliner because I just don't have the time I've got to go my hour is up how come I can't I was open now but I can't open this where is my um look someone's going to call me in a minute I just know it I can't find my look someone's going to call me now my brush oh, there it is see I keep, I keep losing my brushes so this is highlighter goes up like this so I love highlighter down my nose as well and a bit on the forehead and that would do and a, oh yeah lips I can't forget lipstick now can I so I'm going to put just a light lipstick on like this is light you can see it light so that would do not that it's going to stay on because it's not because I'm going to be eating and then it's going to come off that's done I'm going to put in some earrings as well so um, I've got these earrings I'm going to wear them on they're nice as well just black goes with everything so I'm gonna wear that and I got this ring that I haven't worn for ages so I'm just gonna wear that that's nice I know it's silver but it goes with anything so that's a, just a little bit of accessories so I'm ready go so I'm going out to eat with the brother and the daughter my hair is sticking up a bit I'm gonna have some tea because I have to wait now the brother's not ready because he had to book the restaurant so I didn't have to rush after all but never mind so I see you on the way I'm going to do my nails today, I'm looking forward to them, cutting them off and putting some fake ones on so you can watch me later. Should I wear some sunglasses? What do you think? I'm going to look a bit too much like a diva. All good. I see you soon, beautiful people. So now I said I'm going to see you at the restaurant but, um, or when I'm on the way there but I've decided to um, show you the ackee and salt, no, yeah the ackee and salt fish and then um, I'll show you that. So 
this is the Aki that I'm going to be using. Aki in salted water. There it is. And then this is the salt fish. Dry, salted, skinless and boneless salt fish. So what I'm going to do, I've got to soak this overnight because I can't cook the ackee today because it's full of salt. So it has to be soaked and then it needs to be washed. And then what I need to do is boil it and then throw away the boil water, then boil it again and throw away the boiling water and then cook it again until all the salt has come out of it. But this is a Jamaican dish and I love it. Oh my gosh, I need to buy some coconut as well. Coconut, because I need coconut for it. So I have to buy it from the shop tomorrow to put in. Oh no, no, I don't need the coconut. No, no, I don't. That's for the rice. Sorry, I've got that wrong. So let me just soak it now. So I've just soaked it. I've just put it in a pot. I could put it in a container, but I've, just, I've got um, hold of a pot. So I'm going to leave this overnight. And that will soak and it will soften. So the salt fish will be nice and soft. So there it is. And then I'll show you how I cook it tomorrow. Looking forward to showing you. And I've got, I forgot to show you. I love cooking sometimes. Callaloo. So I'm going to make the callaloo with um, tomatoes. I think I might just do fresh tomatoes. So that's that. Still haven't, um, let me see my hair. I like how I've done it. Got practice. I could have done it better, like here, the size. I've seen it in a brighter light because upstairs is so dark. Let me show my outfit downstairs. Upstairs is so dark compared to downstairs. So I'm going to show you my outfit in the mirror so you can see it more clearly. I do like the way I've done my eyebrows and my makeup today as well. So this is the outfit in a brighter light. I love these trainers. No. Didn't know you was there, Joe. My little, my little girl's there, but they can't see her. She's there. So, I love this denim jacket. When I first bought this denim jacket, I didn't like it because it had big arms. And it's amazing how you can get used to things. So, taking this off, this is how it looks. Very nice. Very nice. And this hand, this arm. Uh, it looks nice and imagine I wasn't used to this I wasn't used to these types of shorts because I'm used to having tight fitted clothes all the time but it's amazing how you can warm up to an outfit I'm glad I kept it on so that's what I've got to do you just got to keep it on let me move this chair so you can see it clearly you've got to keep it on until you feel comfortable do a pose strike a pose and now I'm happy with the outfit it. Oh yeah, it looks really nice. So this is the look. Soon be going. I'm gonna make a cup of purple tea right now. My earrings on. Looking spectacular, diva glitz styly. Oh yeah. I'm at the restaurant now. It's nice in here. So we're here, just waiting for the food. some green tracksuit bottoms these are so comfortable the shorts were nice but I ended up having an oil mark on it because I had I put oil on my body and the oil went on the shorts but the outfit went quite nicely so I just got these green tracksuit bottoms over the top so I'm just going to chill out and watch some TV now 
it was so nice a restaurant and um, I'm going to do a makeup look later when I feel a bit more you know wind down because my belly's broken up see my belly keeps broken up I don't know what to do about it so I love my eyebrows how I've done it so basically I'm just going to chill out just want to show you the tracksuit bottoms that because they go with the top I've got to take these tags out a couple of the outfit went very well it's very comfortable people just kept staring at me outside and um had a nice meal with the brother had a little chat hi beautiful people it is now sunday it's late sunday because i've been doing a lot of affirmations and meditation and reflecting and planning and organizing and a few disagreements that needed to be sorted out so i've started my day late so from yesterday i put conditioner in my hair and to be honest i'm very happy with this conditioner because normally my hair doesn't feel this light and bouncy the next day so the hair is feeling very protected feeling very 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 healthy and I'm very impressed with this conditioner so look at the hair it's looking beautiful and bouncy so basically I'm gonna go and make the ackee and saltfish that I talked about um, I want to do a makeup look I've got my outfit on and I'm going to do a picture for Instagram, for Gram and Facebook in this outfit. But I'm just going to put a top over it while I cook. Oh my gosh, I didn't put my hair in properly. While I cook, I'm going to put um, a jumper over it because it's a bit chilly in the house. Tomorrow, hopefully, I'm going to cut my front grass and so you can see this. So this video is going to be a little bit long as well. As always, all my vlogs are long because I've got so much to share. So I'm just going to put the hair up like this. Oh my gosh, it's still not coming up properly. Normally, I get my buns looking good. And the bun is not coming out properly. So let me try one more time. I think this hairband's going to break as well. So I might as well get another hairband and put another hairband in because that's what it needs. So I'm going to go downstairs, make this food because I've had a fast today. That I just have to do because I'm going to do my hair in a minute and then um, I'm going to have a bath, get ready for the um, makeup look and um, hair. I think I'm going to put. I might put a wig on actually. I haven't worn a wig for this channel yet, I don't think. So I'm thinking I'm going to have a wig. And um, this is the outfit I'm wearing. So it's all in one. Looks like this. Blue. I like it. The top's nice. But what I need is to get my boobs up. Because they are quite small. So, this is what I'm going to do. So, I've got this bra, padded one, no straps, and I'm going to put it inside like this, like this, and this to make me look like I've got bigger boobs. So, it works. So, I gave away a secret. Don't give my secrets away. Okay? So this is the outfit. Let me see if you can see it on the chair. 
this is it. It's nice. I like it. And I'm going to put a pair of high heels on with it. Blue ones, you'll see. Hair will be done, makeup will be done. And that will be the picture for today. So I've been listening to some peaceful rain, I'll show you. Whenever I finish dressed out, I put, well, there's loads of these different um, subliminal rain. There's all different ones, cosy, you can get the ones with swimming pool as well. But I listen to this to calm me down, it always relaxes me. So I listen to this on YouTube as well, I meditate and it helps calm me down and get me to understand what I need to do for the week, visualise, plan and calms me down and makes me feel relaxed. So I've been doing that, listening to that and listening to some affirmations and my... And um, I've got to change my bed sheets again, my room's a mess, so I've got to do that and um, I'll see you downstairs to cook the ackee and salt fish so see you there love you all so the kitchen's dark again because I never had a chance to get the repair people up to fix the light because um, my phone broke so I couldn't ring anyone so I've got to ring them this week so sorry about the light in here again you can see me uh, I'm going to do the best I can, but we've just got to work with what we've got. And it's nice, it's a nice, what's that noise? It's a nice, calm atmosphere anyway. So, it's not always about the light, as long as you can see what I'm doing. So, like I showed you yesterday, I soaked the ackee. So, now, I'm going to wash it off now, and then I'm going to put it on to boil so <clears throat> I've just washed it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to boil it for a little while and I'm going to boil it for a little while to, for the salt to come out of it some more and then I'm going to wash it again Let's see I'm going to wash it again and then um boil it again so it's just on the boil I've got it on a high heat at the moment and then I'm just going to let it go leave it high for maybe 20 minutes no probably half an hour more than likely yeah half an hour turn it down a little bit and then um, rinse it off and then do it again then boil it again so as I'm waiting for the um, salt fish to boil out some of its salt, I'm going to chop up some spring onions, red onions, or purple onions, some tomatoes, and I'm going to leave that in the pot to be prepared. But then again, yeah, we're going to do that first, to be prepared to um, season the salt fish that's what I'm trying to say to season the salt fish so let me start <laughs> Leave it to the side for when I need it. There's the ackee. 
in the tin. So now I want to make some beetroot drink because I need some beetroot inside of me. So I'm just going to put it in the blender and then I'm going to put some orange with it. And I might just do an apple as well. Yes, I'm going to do apple as well. So that should be nice. Beetroot, apple and orange. And some lemon, probably. Let me start that now. <laughs> juice is done I've hardly got any space in this corner I tell you I need a bigger kitchen so that's done looking all right this is two apples and five oranges so it does a little bit not loads but it's enough so I'm going to put it into I'll show you I put it in my tumblers I'm going to do that now I'm just going to wash up the juicer and I'll be back so I'm going to put the drinks in here as always I'll show you this all the time these tumblers I need to buy some new ones but I just haven't got around to, you know, doing all this kitchen shopping. I'll get there, saving again, so everything will get brought. So, I just want to encourage people to juice. That's why I show it in a lot of my videos, the juicing, because it's a part of the Diva Glitz lifestyle pain. Eating healthy and juicing is a very big part of healthy eating because it gives you all the nutrients that you need and you can't get any better than this you know juicing is a must to be honest with you beetroot is excellent it clears out the, to the toxins in your system it, it cleanses your colon it cleanses your belly it cleanses your whole body beetroot is a very powerful vegetable to drink and it should be drunk at least once a week if not every day if you can afford to because I know they put fruit and veg up quite a lot so do what you can even if you can just buy one vegetable to drink every single day do it beetroot is probably the best one it might not taste very nice but it doesn't matter about no taste. Your health is more important than the taste. So I'm going to drink this. Raw beetroot. I've got loads left. Um, it's all right. It's not the best taste in the world, but health comes first, like I said. So do that. It's frothy on the top. I drink the rest in a minute, but I just want to show you, encourage you to make sure you at least have beetroot in your juicing. Very important beetroot is. So anyway, that's it done. I'm going to put these in the fridge and they're mixed with orange and apple as well. So it will sweeten up the taste a bit more. Let me go because it's going to be too long all this talking, talking. Still waiting for the salt fish to boil. It's nearly done. Then I'm going to boil it again and then get the ackee and salt fish on the move. Right, now I've done the ackee, I mean the salt fish. And I'm now going to chop it up on here 
just to make, I'm going to make it very small because um, it needs to be small. So I'm just going to get a knife and a fork and make it very small. Some ackee, I mean, I keep saying ackee, some sort of fish has fish in it, it has bones in it. This one hasn't, so try and get salt fish without bones because um, you'd be better off. And um, just chop it up as finely as you can. That is, I'm just digging it down with the fork so it's really small bits. So now I'm going to put it in the frying pan, this one here. So what I'm going to do first is put some oil in the pan. Let's put this down. Put that back so you can see. And I'm going to use some garlic flavoured oil. Put that in. That's enough. And let it heat up. Turn it round, let it get hot, let it get hot, hot, hot. Right, I'm going to put the onions, spring onions and tomatoes in. And it's hot enough now. Nice, nice, nice. A bit of stir. This is lovely. So I have to let that simmer until it's all condensed and cooked thoroughly. So I'm going to leave that really back and then I'm going to um, continue after this is cooked thoroughly. I'm just going to open the ackee because you might as well and then you can see what it looks like. I love ackee. Very nice. So open the can. Can't see. That's okay. There's not much to see at the moment. So there it is. I'm going to Try and sieve it out and in here and then I'll be back and show you. So here is the ackee, it looks like this, very nice. So it's very soft as well, so you have to be very careful with it. So it doesn't need to be cooked for too long. So the um, salt fish has to go in first and it, it takes about 10 minutes. So we're just waiting for that to cook, wait for for the um, tomatoes and to just let it sieve and I'll be back. There's nothing else much more to do. But I'm going to cover that back here and then I'm going to put the salt fish in a bowl as well. Just use this bowl and then I'll have to wait. And then I've got rice already prepared, so I don't need to make no rice. And um, that is the dish made up, and it's it's not hard to make. Very easy dish, but I'll show you the rest of it in a minute. Okay. Now it's cooked down enough now, as you can see. So I'm going to add the salt fish. Now, this is the salt fish. You can see the light's a bit bright, but just add that in. Nice. And let's just give that a stir. I'm going to add some seasoning to it now. So let me get the seasoning. 
that's cooking now. I'm going to let that simmer down. I'm not going to cover it because it's going to get too wet. So don't cover it, leave it open like that. Okay, so I'm going to put some seasons in. I've got some garlic paste that I'm going to put in here. And um, I don't want to, I can use fresh garlic, but I'm just not in the mood to chop it up. So I'm just going to put two teaspoons of garlic paste. It's just as good. It's just not as fresh. It is better to use fresh garlic. So I'm just going to stir that in. We've got some canya pepper. Go take it very easy, especially if it's Jamaican canya pepper, because you only need a tiny bit because the, it will be too far too peppery. A little goes a long way, that will do. And then it just won't taste nice. So there. And then I've got some mixed herb. You can use thyme. Thyme's the best thing to use in Jamaican dishes. Black pepper, not too much. That'll do. Oregander. The lid's broke. And some Italian herbs I'm going to use because I do like Italian herbs. And that will be enough. Mix it up. And then leave it to simmer and I do like to put a Maggie cube in as well so it gives it a good flavour Maggie cube and that's it I'm now going to make some callaloo this is in the tin so it's easy to cook it's not hard nice callaloo is a very great green very good for your health oh my gosh it won't come out Right now, the last thing is to add the aki now, and then it's done. So, so this is the rice that I've cooked, rice and peas. So I've already cooked the rice and peas, so I'm just going to warm it up. Right, this is it. It's finished, the aki. That's aki and saltfish, and the rice and peas, and the callaloo. So here's the finished dish so now i'm going to eat the food and see how it tastes and um, my daughter said it tastes nice look how i've got to do my hair um the rice and pea mm. this is it well i know the rice and peas taste nice because i had it before with salmon Mm. It's Hello beautiful people, it is Monday and I've started this video off late again. So I'm basically just chilling today, I didn't do my um, Instagram um, photo yesterday because an emergency came up and I haven't done it today because the emergency still hasn't been sorted out. So, I'm more than likely going to do it tomorrow because I want to do my makeup and my hair. And it's late, it's evening time, it's nearly 8 o'clock and there's no point starting it now because it's too late. And I was meant to start it today but this emergency wasn't sorted out so it's just held back the modelling shop. So the outfit I had on yesterday, I had to take it off and I had to put it to the side and say I'm going to do it more than likely tomorrow fingers crossed so the vlog continues what I want to do is my nails so I've got these nails stick on nails I got them from TK Maxx surprise surprise so I'm going to put these nails on today and I'm hoping that they stay on because mostly um, sick on nails, nails glue isn't very good so I'm going to put these on they are pink metallic pink and they're nice very nice and I want to start wearing stick on nails because I put nail varnish on my nails 
and they don't last very long so it's annoying so I'm just going to open the pack to make you see <gasps> honestly I didn't know there was a pack at the bottom like that it's just dropped out anyway I'm not having a very good time here so I'm going to put it down like this I've just lost one, oh, there it's gone this one here is there so I'm being a bit naughty. I'm not doing it at the table today. They've just dropped out here. So I'm hoping that they're going to fit. They should fit. Let me try this one. Yeah, these ones fit better than the ones I had before. So I'm going to start sticking them. This is the glue. I'm hoping this glue's stronger, but it should be because it's from TK Max. TK Max um, quality is better than. Where did I get my other nails from? Oh, Primarks. Why is that there? And I need to open this. How come it's not opening? I'm going to have to get some scissors because it's meant to have a piece at the end here. Ah, oh, yes, I've done it. Opened up now. So let me get started and see. So I'm going to put it on the nail, the glue. It's coming out all over and then just simply stick it on because the nails I got glue on the actual nail how did that happen maybe oh I know why so that's looking nice it's stuck on straight away but unfortunately but that should come off. That is on quite firm. Can you see already? So that's nice. So next now. Looks like this is going to be easier than the primer one. I'm going to put it on my nail this time. And, and hopefully it doesn't get on the stick on now. Yeah, this glue is much better. Sticks much easier. Oh, I'm excited. I'm going to have some nice nails now. And hopefully they last longer. Let me find the next one. No, it'll be this one. Yeah. Let's put that on. So just chill out on the bed, watch a film, and do your stick on nails. Oh, this one. It's a bit. Oh my gosh, that is stuck on very tightly, that one is. See? Oh my god, this is amazing, this glue. I'm definitely going to be buying my stick on nails from TK Maxx from now on. Very happy with it. This glue is excellent. Now I think it will be this one. Oh my gosh, that come off quickly. This one is sticking to my other hand that's not good I should have um, stuck it on first so that one now with this one I didn't try it out beforehand before I stuck it on always try the nail before you stick it on so this one fits so I can stick it on
done that. And oh my gosh, the glue is getting on my hands. Oh, and it's sticking my hands together, and it's meant to stick glue got on the nail again so you've got to be very careful with this glue so this hand's done there's a bit of glue on the nail but it will come off which is good but they stick oh they stick so nicely so I've done one hand looks good let me flip this up so you can see metallic pink and they feel tight so that's one hand done and I've got glue all on this hand feels, feels funny so it doesn't take long it's very quick which I'm happy about right I'm gonna do the other nail now looks nice and neat so again there's a hair there just stick it on like that stick on Ooh. oh my keeps sticking on my hand I don't know why glue is getting on my hands it's messing up my flex, you know. So I've done that one. It feels tight again. Let me try. Right, I've got to use the next. This has got two packs, which is good. I need to take off the lid. Ah, let me see if this one fit. I, I don't know what I'm gonna do because the glue is sticking to my hands and it's causing the problem. See, it's stuck. So I'm trying to. That one's gone on quite nicely, like so. Oh no, it hasn't. It's still sticking. Because I'm trying to stick it down as tight as possible as glue everywhere on my other hand. So. That feels tight. you got to press it down a few times. Oh, that can speak in too soon. I'm going to have to go and wash my hands because it was going so well. Got to just keep it down. That's better. Because I've got glue on my hands. Like this one now, this one now. It's unavoidable, you know. It's like, has anyone ever used super glue? without it getting on your hands. No matter how you try not to get that super glue on my hand. I've tried every trick in the book not to get super glue on my hands when I use it. And never does it work, never. So now I'll do this middle one. Just hold it down. Hold it down. Hold. This one hasn't got glue on my hand. Well, I have got glue, but it's dry. So I make sure I hold it down tight, tight, tight. So it feels really tight now. These nails are not going nowhere. I wonder how long they're going to last. I will let you know because I will be doing more stick on nails because I'm happy to put them on my nails now. I've never really used stick on nails because I always had my own nails, but 
I'm fed up of them falling off all of the time. Oh, they're not falling off. I'm fed up of doing them every day and then my nails aren't done. And I don't want to get acrylic nails because to me, they were just going to... I've had acrylic nails done about two times and my nails have never been strong. And that was about 15, 16 years ago. And my nails have never been strong since. So, And it wasn't to say that I had them for very long. I only had them about three times. So it shows you how negative it is to get acrylics. Because I used to have very strong nails. And I was going to get, I'm going to get a gel nail pack. See, blue's got on that one, but never mind. It will come off. The last one now, what do you think of them? I, sorry I couldn't show like it very well because my tripod's in the corner. I really don't want to get off my bed at the moment. I wanted to just, I'm watching a film. So I just wanted to do them on my bed. I didn't want to go downstairs just to put on some stick on nails. So I hope, you know, and it's not rocket science. Look, look how beautiful. I'm so happy. You know what? Just doing something so simple like this can make you feel so happy because now I got a brand new set of nails. So I'm having my it's a dinner. I don't want to eat much because I don't feel hungry. I more like want to have um um liquid. So I'm just gonna have tomatoes and cheese. Vegan cheese it is with um of bread and I've got vegan yogurt this is my herbal tea in here ginger hippocus and um, um, cerisee tea it's in here I showed that in another video then I've got some cake I'm gonna have a little treat I'm not supposed to eat this cake but I'm going to have it and I've got some grapes as well. So this is what I'm, I've got my detox drink as well. I mixed up my beetroot and orange and apple. And it's got pineapple, cucumber, celery and ginger as well. So I'm just going to pour that in a glass. A bit dark in here. That's my room is dark. So I'm just going to eat that now. And that's me done for the evening. Hello beautiful people. It is Wednesday. It is about four o'clock in the evening. Again, I've started a bit late, but yeah, there's reasons for everything. So I'm going to be doing my makeup now because I'm going to be doing a makeup look. And I need to get started with the picture that I want to do for Instagram. I'm going to wear the same outfit I had on the other day, the blue outfit. The nails are done, feet are done. I've done a little bit of a tan. It's, I didn't do a big one, just on a light one today. And now I'm going to do the makeup. So I'm going to speed up the video as always. When I do a makeup look, just a makeup look, I won't speed up the video. But I have to speed up the video because this is a vlog, so it will take too long to just show it all by itself. So let's get started. <laughs>
blue shoes as well so I just went for blue my wig is burgundy I'll show you that in a minute so I've done a skirted eyeshadow look and I've just made it to be simple I'm very much into simple due to the fact that I need more makeup so it has to be simple so I'm going to put some diamantes on because I did want to do the diamantes so I'm going to put them here bit fiddly because they're so small oh my gosh I thought it was going to drop so fiddly and the nails are not helping it it's dropped so this is the finished makeup look I'm going to keep my hair like this I'm not going to um, plait it up now I'm going to put my wig on I'm happy with the look it looks nice so I'm going to put this on. I really need a black one, but I can't find a black one. And I'm going to get the wig now. So here's the wig, burgundy. I could wear a blue wig, but it'd be too much blue, I believe. So let's 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 not go over the top with the blue. So um, I don't stick my wigs down. I might try it one day, but I'm a bit sceptical about the gluing down because I don't want to um, damage my hair I don't want to lose hair because how am I going to get it back if I lose the front of my hair I'd rather not go through that but I know um, there is um, glue hair glues out there that won't do that to my hair if I don't do it on a regular basis because I do like having my own hair now this wig they're not expensive wigs, I'm not going to say, because you can hear, see by the hairline that I'm going to be having a bit of trouble putting it on. But it will do for now for my shot until um, I invest in more expensive ones. So um, I'm seeing how it's going to look and put it to the side and I'm going to fix it up a bit more. Right, I'm going to fix up the wig now because I don't want it having it down straight. I'm going to just give it a little pluck because it's a little bit knotty. It's such a beautiful colour as well. I love it. I love this wig. And that goes beautiful with the blue. It's different because oh, I was going to have a blue wig but I thought no. I'm going to step outside the box and um, mix and match. I like mix and matching colours. Oh my gosh, that needs to stay. And then this bit, I'm going to twist it. Give it a styly, you know. I need more light in here. I should have put another light on. Have I got my main? I don't even think I've got my main. I know why I haven't got that main light on because it's always shining so bright. Let me see if it's going to work out. I'll be back in a minute. Ooh, nearly dropped my light. Need more light. So that's plaited. That one's plaited. Just going to use a hairband for it. Just a simple hairband. And put that together that got to do it three times and that's sitting beautifully with a little fringe let me go back a bit so you can see so it looks nice I like it and then the hair's out so you can see it yeah that looks gorgeous I like that a lot Mm -hmm. with the blue it looks very nice very happy with it so now can't see anything at the side so this is just a wig for an Instagram shot I'm not wearing it out so I'm not scared about it flying off my head so it looks nice so let me carry on with the rest of the bits and bobs I now want my accessories so I'm going to wear this chain 
witch of Dorian. I'm a witch. I'm a rich diva. Rich diva. Oh yeah. So I'm just going to put this on. Choker. So now I've got dress in the outfit. The belly has to be pushed in like this. I need to do exercise. I don't know if I should have the hair out to the side like this or I'm still deciding because it looks better in the mirror. In this camera, I mean this camera is not giving me what I want ever. But when I look in the mirror, I like it to the side. So, or like this. Which way would you choose? And the hair is getting a bit knotty. So in the picture, I probably do both ways. So this is the look so far. I'm gonna wear the high heels. Got the choker on now. So I'm gonna put the rings in here. So I've got these earrings, which I wear quite a lot because I really haven't got around to, I've got earrings, but these are the best ones to wear and I wear them a lot because they go with a lot of stuff so when you find when I find more that's suited for the occasion then I will I've got others that I can wear but I love these ones a lot to be honest I need to find more just like them oh my gosh it's not going in my ear for some reason why is that difficult so put that in. I got two holes in that one ear. And then put that in. Like that. This piece of hair keeps getting in the way. And it's just one bit of hair. And it seems to be doing quite a lot of, of damage. See, I can still feel it. So I'm going to wear these rings as well, but you'll see it when I put them on because they go on quite, I don't know if I should, oh, wear that, yeah, bring you down so you can see what I'm doing. So it's got blue as well, so they fit, they don't really fit my hands that well. My hands are quite big, it must be, because these are quite small. So, women's, other, other women's hands must be dainty. Because mine's definitely aren't as dainty, which is annoying. So they don't fit as well as I would like. I do it this way. But they are fitting, so... But I think they are supposed to fit like this. Now that one don't fit there. So there would be too many on. So I might as well just have it like that. So this is how it looks. I love these types of rings. So I'm just accessorizing the outfit. I think I'm gonna put another, um, X. I'm just gonna wear this ring with it in the middle. And that is done beautiful. I'm going to wear a denim jacket in some of the shots and then um, I, I might accessorise it with a bag as well and we can go from there. So let me get those accessories. So I'm going to accessorise with this denim jacket and this bag. My sister bought me this bag. So nice. I've never worn it out. Michael Kaur. So I'm going to accessorise with these two accessories as well. So let's get started with this Instagram shot and see how it comes out. But in all, I'm happy with the look. I think it looks gorgeous. Different. But I like to be different, you know. I do like that difference. So I need to get my teeth whitened as well because the blue has made it look like bit different the teeth but never mind it will all come together you know so let's go get started and the room now looks an absolute mess do you know what I didn't do I didn't bake but makeup looks fine because when I bake my skin gets drier so that's why I've got out of baking but I just looked up the baking powder just now it's here but 
but um, that's why I got out of doing baking. But the makeup looks nice anyway. So let me do the shot now. Let's get on with it. So basically, I haven't done a modelling shot for a long time and there's a lot of, like I said, I'm not going to be on here saying that I'm perfect at everything, I'm not, I'm not, I haven't got the confidence, like my page is about building up self-esteem and confidence and that's what I'm doing because I had a breakdown, I've talk, spoke, spoke about it quite a lot, so I'm building up my confidence in myself and I critique myself quite a lot. So um, I haven't got the modelling walk that I need because when I got ill, my body got very, very weak. So I have to build up myself again. And when I done this modelling shop, there was so much negativity surrounding me. The room's not right. The lighting's not right. The the way I look is not right. My body's not right. So I had so much things going around in my mind. Like I want to get my belly down. It's because I had like belly problems as well a lot of things that happened to me due to stress but um it all came to me when i was doing this shot it's difficult and i was gonna give up but something inside of me said no you've got to keep doing it because what happens to me i stop and start because i feel i haven't got the space in my house i want my own studio because when you're doing modeling you need space like i was watching a modeling video the other day and they were doing runway walking and obviously the room was massive and they were walking up and down up and down then i was watching this other guy on tiktok teaching these ladies how to walk and they're so elegant and poised and confident in themselves but he's teaching them and i thought to myself anything in life we have to practice 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 but in my house I've got so much stuff in my home, so much, like to the point where it's like I've never lived like this before, but I've got all of this stuff for my YouTube videos, like I'm not being able to move, look, I've got no space for it, look, on my doors, clothes everywhere, and I have no space, and I've been believing for a new house for quite some time, manifestation comes in again, so I don't know what's going to happen because... <laughs> I can just about move in this house and I'm not getting the quality and the shots that I want you know I can go outside there but there's another mission to pack everything up and you know bring everything out you know and then I can try and then obviously I the money for the quality wigs and I feel quite strange in wigs I don't know if they really suit me either I'm still trying to get used to them but I like clippings a lot because I can have my own natural hair out. So the wig's nice and the colour's nice and what have you, but it just doesn't feel me like me, even though I do love the wigs and I think like the props are good. But I think it's a lot to do with my confidence and how I feel about myself because I was watching a modern video the other day and they were saying it's about how confident you feel inside. And my boyfriend said that to me today, you just need confidence. And I've seen therapists, they say I need confidence. It's like, I've read so much books on confidence about imaging it inside of you, but you still have to do some types of work to get that confidence. Like, I know I've got to work my core, yeah? And I haven't been working my core, meaning I've got to do sit-ups, I've got to... Um, get some exercise equipment for my sit-ups I've got a waist trainer I've got to put that on right now you know but because I've got to sort out my b belly problems which I don't know what the problem is and why my belly gets bloated so what I'm basically trying to get at is when you see me doing a picture it's mainly for the fashion at the moment because I'm not really a model I don't have the skills of a model. I haven't, I've trained up, I got, I improved 
and then I got ill so I had to stop so I got out of practice basically that's what happened to me and I've got to get back into practice because I had to stop, look at my diet, make lots of changes. I had to rest. I've been rested extensively as well. So I'm out of practice again. And then again, my environment is not to where I need it to be. Like I need to like hire out hotels and I need confidence. So I'm on a journey. I don't know if I want to do modeling. All I really want to do is show fashion. I'm not really interested in all these poses because you've got to do stretching. You've got to make sure that you're confident within yourself. You've got to make sure that you've got the right props as well that look appealable to everybody. I really just want to show fashion. So when it comes to the hair at the moment, I don't have the money for these wigs. I've only got these amateur wigs that look okay. I, I'm aware that it's not looking spectacular. I'm not going to deny it and pretend that everything's brilliant because it's not. I know what I know what level and I know what standard people are appealed to. And but at the end of the day, I'm realistic um, in myself and knowing that I don't have that wealth, yeah, to get to these things. I've seen how much wigs are and I refuse to pay that price on wigs when I can put that money somewhere else. So, you know, I've got makeup, I've got, you know, my own natural hair and I do love wigs as well. I love them a lot and I've got clippings and what have you. So I can only try my best, but fashion is what I really am interested in showing is the fashion. And I like showing the makeup as best as I possibly can as well. So, like I said, this channel is all about growing and evolving. And it literally, it is mainly about the inner state, the inner world. Because I know what I have to go through with my confidence and self-esteem. And what I haven't had and what another person hasn't had. And there's so many people out there that do not believe in themselves, within themselves, and don't have the confidence because they haven't been around people that are kind enough to do that niceness to them. I've been around a lot of people that haven't been very nice. So sometimes when you're around people, they give you the reflection of themselves and it rubs off, unfortunately. And I've tried my best not to be around these types of people, but it was out of my control because there's many, many, many of them where I live, unfortunately. So if you're in a creative in sp in space and around creative people, you're bound to rub off on them and you'll learn from them. But you've only really got YouTube and that's quite a barrier because there's no closeness. You're not around them. You need to be around like, right in front of people in order to really learn off them i mean i was around some creative people and i benefited more seeing it on telly is not really gonna help as much as it would being in front of somebody so try and place yourself around people that you aspire to be like you know i don't have no model people around me i only see it on youtube or instagram or facebook or twitter that's where we all are but i would like to learn how to walk again as um, a model does i'm very much interested in it and really what i'm trying to say be persistent today i was disheartened again because i know i have to practice but what i've learned about myself and i'm going to end this video here what i've learned about myself is i used to give up a lot and what I'm going to stop doing is giving up on myself and I'm going to keep going because I saw everything that I needed to do in order to make changes. But what I had noticed is my walk had got a bit more stronger, just a little bit more stronger. And I was able to walk in the hills a little bit more better. I was still stumbling. But what I said to myself is I'm not going to see this. What I'm going to do is see where I want to be. And that's what I'm going to do from now on. So I'm going to continue practicing because the space is very, very small in here. Very small space. And it's a bit, I've got to make sure that I'm grateful for the space I've got for the time being. And keep seeing where I want to be with it. And keep practicing. Because it's an area that I would, I really want to know about. But if you want anything in life and you don't know anything about it, 
it's not easy to get to it. If you know about it, I knew about it when I was younger, I could do the walk and everything. I was ready for modelling, but in my day, because I'm 45 now, they wouldn't let people like me in. They kept saying you have to be a certain height, you have to look a certain look, you have to have a certain nose shape. So there was no way, nobody was letting us into modelling. And it, I read, there was racism, so it was mainly for white people at that time as well. So in this generation, <clears throat> very, very lucky. But I was very much prepared when I was in my 20s. And I lost lost a lot of myself when I had my children because I couldn't really walk around in hills when I was pushing a buggy so I had to wear lots of flat shoes so I lost a lot of practice in wearing high heel shoes and now I find it hard to wear high heel shoes and I, I, I it, it kicks me because I'm like and it's I get lazy in walking in high heel shoes I just want to take them off as quick as possible so I don't know if I'm going to get back there learning how to walk in hills and what have you. Got to do yoga. Yoga is brilliant. So I stop and start with yoga because I was having chest problems. There was no other reason why I stopped and I had to sit back and rest and then um, reflect. But what I have to say to everybody, if you want something in life, Go to your drawing board, write down everything you need to do to achieve that goal. And then when you've written it down, stick it up on your wall, keep visualising it, and then you will be able to get to what you want to get to. Because I've seen improvements, it's just my mind still and how I see myself. Like I had pictures on the wall, they helped me somewhat, but I wanted to have the image of me succeeding and seeing myself as I wanted to see myself on the picture. So I've still got to work on my mind and seeing my, my modeling shot in my mind, I still haven't got there. And seeing myself walking in my high heel shoes as, as um, steady as possible without stumbling and also um, not giving up. So I'm gonna end this video here. Don't give up on your dreams. Yes, it's not gonna be easy. But remember, you will get there if you don't give up. If you give up, obviously, you're not going to have it. Okay? So it doesn't matter. Like I said, my belly have been going on the boat for some time. doesn't matter. It's still not down. I'm doing something about it. Okay? Making sure I eat the right foods. That's what I'm doing about it right now. I'm going to put my waist trainer on right now as well. And um, um, stretching. I'm going to be doing some stretching in a minute. So these are the things that you have to do. If you can't do it every single day, fine. Don't kick yourself. If you have to stop and start, fine. There's reasons for everything. Yes, I had to stop for a reason. Don't get at yourself. You can get at yourself a little bit to tell yourself off in order to push yourself forward. But don't get at yourself for, for too long. That's what I've done to myself as well. Why I got ill. I was kept continuously criticising myself. That's not going to help you. Try to just do bit, 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 bit. Go back, reflect, sort it out. Like I want to do my, my bum to be lifted. And I'm not going to do plastic surgery. So I'm going to do some leg ups to get my bum to sit up. Because my bum seems to be sagging a bit as well. So... When you do things, you get to see what you need to improve on. But see the improvements as a positive. Don't see improvements as a negative. And try your best not to compare yourself to others. Because that's a very difficult one. Because that's what goes around in my head all the time. That one does that like that. That one does like that. And how do they get to be so confident? How do they get their image to look so good and cool? And, do, 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 and all these things going around got to try and lessen this noise in my head as well anyway i'm going to finish this video here we're on an authentic journey together we're all going to grow together that's what diva glitz lifestyle is about not here to bring perfection because i'm not actually perfect at much at the moment i'm perfect at a lot of other things but not perfect at some things so i will show everything i need to show not hiding anything. This is uncensored, I call it. Diva Glitz lifestyle. All about evolution, turning ourselves into a diva, turning ourselves into a diva, whether we have the best 
or whether we don't have whatever it doesn't matter i don't care who you are where you're coming from we're all included we're all beautiful it doesn't matter if you're a single mother at home it doesn't matter if you're a housewife we're all divas we're all beautiful it doesn't matter if you've got no skills it doesn't matter if you're not perfect at anything at all it doesn't matter if you are perfect at everything i include all women all shapes all sizes we are all beautiful we are all women and all about men if you want to come and join us you're beautiful as well you are perfect in everything you do i want to join you with your beautiful partners as well you know because men said they they need lifting as well so you're welcome here too you know i don't want it to be about always perfection we've got perfection and we've got non-perfection we've got people that need to grow in confidence and self-esteem we're here to help people with their mental health health everything all around all around let's bring us all in yeah let's help each other grow it's people on there that's perfect send a message down below give us some tips and tricks on what we can do I had a lady to come and tell me about my belly you know she's tried it doesn't matter it's all good you know love yourself as you are we have to love ourselves but if we want to improve at least we can try we can try a bit of this and we can try a bit of that all right so i'm going now please like and subscribe remember to love yourself regardless of anything okay you're beautiful love you all and i see you next in the next diva glitz vlog love you all